It's 10.06. We're running a little bit late because the governor was having a great time on the air with Jim and Marjorie. Went a little over. And, you know, it's interesting. I don't always get a chance to listen because I'm prepping for my show and I can't hear everything. But uh, there was a moment, Grain Powerful Tom, when my email lit up like a Christmas tree. And I think yours did, too. Do you know the moment I'm talking about, Grain Powerful Tom? I do indeed, uh, Maestro. It was a question from Mr. Browdy. A question from Mr. Browdy for Governor Patrick. You just, if you should have been listening, it was about 10 minutes ago here on 96 Night Boston Talks. Do we have the question and the answer, Grain Powerful Tom? We have the, the – it scoped down a little bit. The conversation was about the uh, Glenn Beck rally. Right. Glenn Beck had his rally at Lincoln Memorial. And we, As you know, racist, anti-Semitic nut job Reverend Al Sharpton thinks it's an outrage. He thinks only people who are obsessed with the color of your skin should be there, not people who want to view you, judge you by your content of your character. And there's been a lot of dispute back and forth about whether or not, for some reason, Tea Partiers belonged at the Lincoln Memorial on the anniversary of the day that uh, that uh, uh, the I have a dream speech occurred. That was that's the kind of the big picture, right? Correct. And, and we, so Browdy asked the governor about it if he had a problem with it. Do you have a problem with Glenn Beck having his rally at the Lincoln Memorial? Here is Governor Patrick's answer. Are you troubled that it was there when it was and where it was? Well, it's it was it's a it's a free country. Um, I I wish it weren't, but it was it's a free country. And okay, I, you gotta you gotta respect. I'm, that I'm sorry. Freedom. Well, you gotta back you gotta back that. I'm sorry. I, I didn't hear that right. That's I clearly misunderstood what i just heard i'm sorry can we can we hear this again you troubled that it was there when it was and where it was well it's it was it's a it's a free country um, I, I wish it weren't but it was it's a free country and okay I, you gotta you gotta respect that freedom now come on come on don't overreact don't jump in that was not our governor Deval patrick who is by the way a really nice guy he really is a nice guy uh saying that he wishes this weren't a free country necessarily that's not that, i don't think that what that's what he was trying to say on purpose do you agree Bible, tom i don't think so no i don't think he meant that he wishes it weren't a free country i think he meant he wishes it weren't held where it were <laughs> here's here's the problem that i have you know what the uh, michael kinsley has defined a gaffe as when a politician accidentally tells the truth I'm afraid that this, uh, I'm not afraid, I believe in that this was an unintended gaffe. If you ask Governor Patrick, do you, do you really wish this weren't a free country? He's going to say, no, of course I don't wish that. I don't wish this weren't a free country. Oh, that's crazy talk. But when you watch what Governor Patrick and President Obama and Nancy Pelosi and Harry Reid actually do, well, good. So you believe it's a free country, so I should be able to smoke, right? Well, no. Actually, you shouldn't be able. Well, it's a free country, right? So I should be able to exercise my Second Amendment rights. To get... Well, actually, no, I don't really. Well, it's a free country. I should be able to just pick my own doctor and go to and decide for myself whether or not I have health insurance or not. Well, no, we're not that kind of a free country. Well, but I should be free, though, like to hire and fire who I want based on what I... Oh, well, no, not exactly. So here's my problem, Great Powerful Tom. I, know, I, I, I think it's an up-in-the-air question about what he was asking. <laughs> actually saying if you can play it for us one more time but do you want i want to ask you a question before you play it do you honestly believe that people who have the policy positions of governor patrick president obama etc wish it were a free do you think they're happy that it's a free country 